Hi, Oddings. Welcome to Stories with Sapphire. I'm your Ate Sapphire. We often hear horrifying stories of wildlife attacking humans, but can we really blame these creatures when we are the ones invading their space? In this week's story, Carmi learns that even the most benevolent creatures can cause harm if you're in the wrong place at the wrong time. And now, it's story time. Carmi was the manager of a brand new hotel on Cabuscan, a previously uninhabited island in the Philippines. The idea was to blend the hotel into the natural surroundings so that the wildlife and visitors could coexist peacefully. Because of its remote location, the job required Carmi to live on site, in her own room about 100 feet up a fake tree. Carmi had managed plenty of resorts before, but nothing like this. The owner handed her the keys and told her that there would be odd sounds here and there in the room, but to ignore them. It's just the birds and other critters that can't tell it's not a real tree. As Carmi moved her things in and unpacked, she heard the scratching the owner had mentioned. She cracked open the room's one window to take a peek at the bird pecking at the tree. She smiled. She thought it was a really unique experience to be so integrated with the wildlife. Night fell, and it was about time for bed. Carmi was just about to drift to sleep when the loud scratching awoke her. She covered her ears with her pillow, made a mental note to herself to buy earplugs, and tried to fall back asleep. After a few minutes, she was interrupted again, this time by a slight pounding sound. The charm of living amongst nature had worn off faster than she expected. Carmi pulled up a white noise video on her phone to see if that could drown out the sound. After a few minutes, Carmi was fading back to sleep until she heard a giggle. She paused the video and listened. She looked through her door's peephole, no one there. She looked out her window, nothing. (laughs) The sound was coming from the other side of the room, the side that had a hundred foot drop. The scratching began again, then the pounding, scratching, pounding, scratching, pounding, all the while a mysterious disembodied giggle (laughs) echoed outside. Carmi followed the noise until she pinpointed the spot on the wall where it was all coming from. She placed her ear over the spot listened. The scratching stopped. And then... (laughs) The Bungisnis derives its name from the Cebuano word that means to giggle. It's a giant, one-eyed humanoid monster with tusks protruding from its mouth. It's not a malevolent creature, but it's not very bright and doesn't know its own strength. Unfortunately, Carmi was the victim of its innocent curiosity. It makes me wonder, how often are we harming others without even realizing it? If you don't want nightmares tonight, subscribe to my channel and like and share this video. Submit your own stories to storieswithsapphire at gmail.com. For more spooky, supernatural, and spiritual stories, listen to the Stories with Sapphire podcast wherever you listen to podcasts. If you like what you saw and would like to support this independently run show, head over to patreon.com slash storieswithsapphire. Until we meet again, sleep tight. <laughs>